Songbird. Do you think? Could it really be? Hmm, it is possible. This is amazing. Here you are, at our school. Yes, it is part of my charity tour for educational institutions. In fact, I'll sing for you right now. Wait, wait, wait. I mean, what's the rush? Perhaps later. But I love to sing. Why should I wait? Our apologies. The girls have classes. Oh. I see. The fine arts are not welcome here. I do hope our kind and gracious guest does not find us impolite and declining. Please, Professor. Mr. Immortal? Well, all right then. But after class. <laughs> Very well. After class. Hooray! Hooray! How wonderful. May I have your autograph? Could you sign what my techniques? Too? Girls, please, please stop. We don't want to overwhelm her. We must treat our guests with respect. It's time for breakfast, and then to our esteemed owl for Magic Home Economics. In the meantime, I'll give our guest a tour of the school. As you can see, this hallway is decorated in the pseudo fairy tale style of the last hmm. hmm. Where's breakfast? And no coffee. Something is wrong. Owl would never forget our breakfast. What could have happened? Well, looks like class is cancelled. Look, it's Hull's feather. We can use it to track where she went. <sighs> to your mistress be drawn. Show us where she's gone. That's strange. Why would Owl be in the museum? It looks like something was here. And there's writing below. This magic feather swiftly brings the likeness of the bird who sings. The songbird's feather was here. And she was Owl in disguise. I think so. Owl is gone, the feather too, and in their place, the songbird. This is wrong. We have to tell the teachers about this. Wait, hold on. Maybe she just wants to sing. I think you're right. Don't be so cruel. Let her sing just once. <sighs> oh, fine. A concert is a concert. Let's give Owl the chance to be a star. Until then, pretend we don't know. We should pick more flowers. Yes, Owl will be so happy. <gasps> a feather! Hmm, strange. Why is it here? Shouldn't it be somewhere close to Owl? Girls, let's follow it. <gasps> Look, it's Owl! You're right. She's been captured by Baba Yaga. Oh, she scares me. Don't worry. She's not home right now. See? No room. Let's go. Oh, girls, thank you so much. Tell us what happened. Oh, how do I begin to explain? You're aware of how sensitive the immortal is to magic on campus. So I decided that whenever I, well, transformed, I should do it away from the school. In the name of the fine art of song, I request your power. <gasps> what a pleasant surprise! <laughs> I was just flying by and thought I'd pay you a visit. Surprise! Wait, so the songbird is Baba Yaga, and she wants to... Really upset all of you. <laughs> I will sing a beautiful lullaby. The sort of lullaby oh. they won't wake up from. And there won't be anyone to wake them up. <gasps> oh, dear. Let's go. We have to save the teachers. <laughs> Baba Yaga, stop! We know it's you! Marlene! <gasps> Professor! <sighs> Where is 
is the immortal? <sighs> Good question. Where is he? Why isn't he here? Uh, what are you doing? Why aren't you sleeping? Sleeping magic has no effect on me. Now, if you don't mind, let go of me. I got it. Huh? Uh, uh. Baba Yaga? Be gone from here at once. <gasps> I see you resolved the situation. She tried to cast a spell on us. A sleeping spell. To take over. But Dorma saved the day. Well done, Dorma. When needed, you are not a sleeping princess. <laughs> <laughs> I have a surprise for you. The songbird. This time, it's the real one herself. Hmm. Yay! Awesome! I feel bad for Owl. Hmm. I'm very sorry, but I want to sing. Oh, do you like singing as well? <laughs> Then might I interest you in a duet? Oh, hooray! Magic paint box. No way! We're not sprucing up our dome with any of this! What about me? Don't you think I would look cool in your dormitory? <laughs> Helen, you're the best at spells today. <laughs> Doing so well. It won't be long before we're great wizards. <laughs> great wizards, you say? I'm shocked by your insolence. Soon we'll even be able to defeat Baba Yaga. No. Oh. Now that's a bit too much. You clearly need taking down a peg or two. <gasps> that painting. I saw it move. Hachi, you frightened <laughs> us. You can move in and out of paintings. Hello. I know the perfect way to spruce up our dome. I will paint the picture of us to hang on the wall of our room. Hmm. That's not such a bad idea. My own painting collection. <laughs> Girls, take some blank canvases and bring them to our dome. There are some paints here as well. Shall we? Yes, I've almost run out of red in my set. Whoa, paint faster. I told you to hold the ball in your hands. Goalkeepers only touch the ball with their hands. I'm a forward. Oh, you can lower your foot now. Hooray! Huh? Where did Rooney's ball go? I finished painting it and then it disappeared. How strange. Once I finish painting something, then it disappears and floats into the canvas. These paints are enchanted. Enchanted? By who? This person. No! Stop it! Don't finish it! Baba Yaga. Let's take the painting to Mr. Immortal. We'll get magic credit for it. What's that? What's she doing? <gasps> take me to Mr. Immortal? <gasps> I don't think so. Why did you try to trap us in a painting? To make you stop thinking that soon you'll be better wizards than me. You've no idea who you're competing with. You're really good at drawing. But to finish the portrait, you still need to make a few more brush strokes. And I know how to fix this. I've got an extra brush right here. I'll take you home and then hang you up on my wall so you can observe a truly great wizard at work. <laughs> How can we get out of here? We're stuck! We need a magic cloth. It's not working. Here, 
Let me rub hold it. It won't work, you know. Rub all you want. You're not going anywhere. My cloth was magical, and yours is some ordinary junk. <laughs> Time to take you to your new home. Another way out. If only we could move in and out of paintings like Ochi. Theoretically, I think we can. Since we're in here, then we should all be able to move from one painting to another. That's right. What? You ran away? Come back. Come back here right now. Where did you go? While still looking out for Baba Yaga. Archie, help us! We need the cloth on the dorm room floor to wash away these paintings of us. Archie, we need you. We'll explain later. We'll be okay now. So you prefer a landscape? No! Idiots! How dare you! Get out of that painting! I'm not hanging this on my wall! <gasps> all right, fine. You beat me this time. But just so you know, you're all still terrible wizards! <sighs> Thank you for saving us, Archie! Thank, Thank you, Archie! Archie. And thank you as well to the widely smiling Mr. Immortal. You helped us a lot, too. Now I think I know which painting we should hang in our dorm. <laughs> <laughs> the Newcomers. Wow. What a heroic painting. I've also got a shield like he does. Your pardon, Sir Knight. I usually summon this shield myself, but this time it appeared on its own. <clears throat> Is it broken? I hope the new boys like soccer. I hope not. I dread the notion of the three of you running around together. Don't worry, Daria. They seemed very well behaved, if you ask me. <gasps> well behaved, you say? I'll have you know. We do not walk about the hallway waving shields around here. But the shield popped out on its own. Hmm. What a lack of manners. I planted these sleeping herbs over a month ago. When are they going to grow? Have you tried singing them a growing song? Yes. Watered them with the rainbow? No, not yet. <clears throat> oh. What you need is some magic for the soil. Here. Back in my village, if something didn't want to grow, they would call me. Are you sure about this? Magical herbs aren't like digging potatoes. You must be careful. Just don't ruin anything. Please be careful. No! Ah! Now you've done it. It took a whole month to grow them. Please, you have to help us sort all this out. There's nothing to sort out. We didn't want your help. But you forced it! <laughs> Watch out! <gasps> what was that for? It wasn't me! Maybe not. What about you, Levon? I didn't do anything wrong. Heroes don't randomly wave their shields around. But a hooligan would. I'm not a hooligan, I'm a hero! In training. Come now, don't argue. It is clear to me that something mysterious is happening here. Do any of you have a suggestion? Perhaps the boys have been cursed. Perhaps. Quite possible. Let's try to detect it. <laughs> Vaki has never been wrong before. There's no curse. Then it was on purpose. We were trying to help out. 
Oh, yeah? Helping? It's true. Oh, really? It's true? You did do it on purpose. Girls, you're starting a fight again. Are you sure you should? We must not make accusations before we figure this out. We're going to see Mr. Immortal. In the meantime, no more arguing. Hmm. Huh. Yeah. I think we should wait outside. We're just too dangerous for this school. We are? There, see? You're going to make the school fly away. As heroes, it's our duty to save the school from the two of us by becoming wandering wizards. Perfect. We'll wander around in search of adventures and dinner. And so, the boys have gone missing? We've searched the entire school for them, Mr. Immortal. Hmm. Then we must find them immediately. Girls, stay right there. I think the boys must have been offended by us. Why should they be offended? It makes no sense. I don't know. What if they left because of us? Let's find them. But we were told to stay here. I agree. We should go find them. Come on. Did you find them? Not yet. Me neither. <gasps> Girls, look! I found raspberries. Dorma, we aren't here to collect raspberries. Look there, it's a floating rock. All sorts of them. Dorma, don't fall behind. But there are so many floating rocks here. <gasps> Come quickly! I found them. <gasps> what are you doing no, there? No, nothing. Hey, what's wrong? Who are you talking to? The girls found us. Give me your hand! A real hero doesn't need help! <gasps> you have to leave! It's too dangerous here! Are you listening? Get out of here now! We're not leaving you! Yes, and we're sorry! We know we were wrong! Give me your hand! We'll pull you up! Hey, Bosco! Let them help us! They can pull us up! <laughs> Thank you. That was very heroic of you. Look out, everyone! <gasps> Look! My magic! It's finally working again! Auto magic. It is a very rare magical phenomenon. You see, it happens when a magician becomes very sad. Their magic begins to lose its precision. And that is what happened to the boys. Yes, they lost their friends and their school. So of course they were sad. Exactly. And you girls were not very hospitable to them. Tell us, Mr. Immortal. Do the students at this school sleep in trees? Yes, that is correct. And it's a great idea for a surprise. Here. Oh. Make our home your home. I hereby vow to defend Wondermont as my home. I hereby call the Top Punk. <laughs> <laughs> The Gingerbread Man. A glowing pudding. That's wonderful. Ice cream that never melts. All your achievements make me very happy. I look forward to sharing these with Mr. Immortal when he returns. And you, Daria? Fortune cookies that tell the future. Ooh, I call dibs on those. <laughs> on this day, two friends you know will leave for Sweetland. What friends? I don't know. You predicted it. And I've... well, well, I've... here. I wanted to make a Sweet Dreams gingerbread man. The recipe is quite simple, but I fell asleep while making it. And then it burned every time I tried. Now I don't know what to do. Dorma, try again. You chose a very complicated recipe. Oh. <sighs> I've tried it a hundred times, but I've still failed. Now I've got a new idea. Hey, don't listen in. Right, Daddy? Look, a self-filling tablecloth. It makes whatever you ask. But shh, don't tell anybody. That goes for you too. Dreamy munch, gingerbread crunch, a lovely treat for a sleep that's sweet. My homework is finally done! Now everyone's going to love my little gingerbread man! Everyone's going to love me.
It's so nice. So golden brown. <gasps> I get to try it first. Pleased uh -huh. to meet you. I'm the gingerbread man. You're going to love me. Uh, I'm Rooney. And I think I need to sleep. Rooney? Sweet dreams. Rooney? Dorma, you must have put too much sleeping charm in the recipe. Let's be friends. You're going to love me. <sighs> we like you already. Oh, I'm dreaming about a unicorn. What are you doing? Wake them up again. <sighs> Didn't any of you sleep last night? Who can I make friends with now? Your gingerbread man is putting everyone to sleep. Where oh. are you going? Things aren't looking very good for me. Dorma, how did you bake that gingerbread man? I was scared that I'd never managed to make anything. So I used the self-filling tablecloth. But I think that something must have gone wrong. Maybe there's something I missed in the recipe. Did you read the instructions? No. Hello? Is anyone here? The top side of the tablecloth makes exactly what you ask it for. Here, take a look. Let me see. And the other side gives food magical properties. <gasps> I must have put the tablecloth the, the wrong, wrong way, way around. around. That's why your gingerbread man puts everyone to sleep just by touching them. And why he is alive. Whatever should we do? It's all here. It says to stop the magic. You just need to make the same recipe yourself. I'll never manage it. I keep falling asleep. Of course you will, Dolma. I'll help you. We'll bake the best gingerbread man ever. Where is everyone? Oh! Let's be friends. The recipe says we need some good night, Ginger. And a little calming clove. Got it! Oh. It's so good that I found you. The water. It'll help hold him back for a bit. I can't get my feet wet. I'm gingerbread. Let's go. Where are you going? Don't leave me alone. We've only got until the water dries up. Butter, flour, the spell. Nice. Honey, ginger, and clove. And bake. Did you turn down the heat? Uh-huh, I did. It's definitely got to work this time. This isn't going so well. All my friends have run off. Oh, I hope he doesn't see us. What can we do? It's time to get the gingerbread out. I've got a plan. Rock the chandelier. There you are. How did you get so high up? Do you want me to help you get down? <gasps> oh, gingerbread man, look! It's lovely to meet you. Let's be friends. It's so nice that you didn't fall asleep. <laughs> I'm so sorry that I cheated. I didn't know that this would happen. You need to be extremely careful with magical objects. But you've baked wonderful Sweet Dreams gingerbread men. Whatever shall we do with you? I've got an idea to help with that. Mr. Immortal! Girls, I've just returned from Sweetland and they will be delighted to welcome the new residents. Your gingerbread men will have plenty of friends to play with there. On this day, two friends you know will leave for Sweetland. The fortune cookies were right. <laughs> <laughs> the Wondermont Boomerang. Flying rainbow move! One, two! Hey, hey, hey! One, two, three, four! Ha! Ha! Did you see that? 
He did four full twists. Exactly. It helps you throw the boomerang harder. The El Dorado leap with a surprise. It's the best way to attack dragons, you know. Dragons? Of course. But you won't get kindness from dragons. Once a dragon attacked my home in El Dorado, we shot arrows at it and threw spears, and the thing still got back up. Then the great El Guerrero, our most superheroic superhero, put a spell on his shield. He flew up into the sky on it, and then just like hurled a boomerang. We know about El Guerrero in the Seven Kingdoms. We study his biography in high school. Someday, I'll perform the same kind of feat. If a dragon shows up, I mean. I think you could have just used an ordinary spell for flying lizards. But it's impressive, that's for sure. No one here can do that. Oh, oh yes, they can. I can do a better, even higher jump. Where do you see the trick I can do? Uh, wanna bet? Or is our El Guerrero too scared? Me scared, you say? Eldoradans don't know how to be scared. Keep it up! You're doing great! <laughs> Do one more round! <laughs> hmm, look at that leap like a grasshopper. But I will be the best. Will you help me? Go find out everything. Why he jumps so well, how he lands, what secrets he has. Everything. Got it? Bosco, step on it! That's already 2.5 dragon speed! Oh. Hmm. <gasps> Flight enhancer, of course! With this, it's easy to fly like a superhero! Where did the bottle go? It was right here. Well, Mr. Champion, you ready? <laughs> I can't wait to show everyone who the best jumper is. Fine, but I am not going to hold back. <laughs> I'm sorry, but me neither. Just remember, winning isn't everything. Of course it is. Victory is everything, especially mine. We're all ready. Then let's go. Don't go against traffic. You must follow the traffic rules. <sighs> well, Professor, isn't it just wonderful to ride through the placid sky with a nice cup of hot tea? Yes. We don't often have days like this at Wondermont, when everything is so quiet and peaceful. Ah! Ah! Rooney, give me your hand! And our pupils today are so calm. Smile, smile. And well-behaved. They're growing up, you know. Oh, there's my bottle. Hey, you didn't use it on your disc, did you? So it's fine for you, but not the rest of us. I have every right to enhance my flight, too. <laughs> it really worked out for you, huh? This stuff is for the boomerang, so it flies further and comes back quicker. You see? Your disc is coming back now. Woo-hoo-hoo! Have some decency! I guess you... saved me. Now I owe you. <laughs> In that case... Why don't you teach me how to do those spins you do? Like the ballerina and the cat's twist. Me? Teach you? Okay, and you can teach me your El Dorado leap with a surprise. No problem. That was amazing, that was really. So cool. Well done, Vasco. What a feat. I couldn't have done it better myself. Your attention, please. Rooney and Vasco present our awesome joint flying disc show. Oh, 
Bravo! It's a real show. So, what do you call your incredible maneuver? Uh, the Wondermont... Boomerang! That's a great title. I'm sure this maneuver is worth including in the Magical Aerial Acrobatics textbooks. <laughs> <laughs> Spell Swap. Why must every day start with getting up? It's so unfair. <laughs> I don't sound that way. Rooney, stop that right now. Enough of your impressions. According to my schedule, there is no time to have any fun today. Hey, sounds like Daria. <laughs> Girls, quiet down. That's enough. An excellent idea from someone not in her seat. I'm sorry about that. Just trying to have a bit of fun. <laughs> well, I think you'll enjoy the lesson for today. It's also fun. We shall learn how to master a blending spell. With this magic, we will combine two of your powers into one unique spell. The results are fun and surprising. We will begin by forming pairs. There are five princesses, so one of you shall work with me. Mm, this is the worst. It's best to practice together where you won't be disturbed. <laughs> shall we go, partner? A, B, C, is that right? Ugh. Stupid book. Why ever did I steal it? <laughs> Be quiet. I didn't ask you. I stole it because I need it. It's the Wisdom Land spell book, after all. At least I think it is. I won't know until I read it. Their language is tricky. <gasps> That's right, her. She's from Wisdom Land. Now I don't need to learn the language. <laughs> Together we two make... Together, we two blend. <gasps> What's this? Oh my, delicious. Oh, how delicious. <gasps> oh, hooray, it's like they're <gasps> dancing. A dash of magic cast with a... You're doing it all wrong. A dash of magic cast with a friend. Mm-hmm. This was supposed to be fun. What? I said, a dash of magic cast with a friend. Together we make two, together we blend. We have to say it together. <sighs> Is that correct? Whoa. Rooney, you look just like me. What do you mean? You look just like me. <gasps> we switch bodies. But Doria, how do we switch back? Doria, I need your help. And this is not a request. <gasps> Wait! Come back! Daria! I'm coming, Rooney! Delicious! It's so fun blending our magic. Oh, Rooney! Why the hurry? Our spell's gone wrong. I switched bodies with Rooney. Then Baba Yaga appeared. And she took Rooney. Because she looks like me and I look like her, you see? You know? <laughs> <laughs> My, you sound just like Daria. Even more than this morning. I am Daria. <laughs> this is an amazing prank, even for you, Rooney. However, does it work? Ugh. Where's Marlene? Sorry, that trick won't work on Marlene. Why not? Because you pretended to be Daria already this morning. And Marlene as well. You're not Daria. No, I'm Rooney. Rooney, Rooney. Enough already. Stop. You're from Wisdom Land, aren't you? I got this book as a gift. I'm sure it has strong spells, but I need it translated. And you know how. Now read it to me. <laughs> I won't. And you can't make me. Oh, can't I? Hmm. <gasps> it's stuck. What did you do now? It'll stay that way until you read it to me. <laughs> Stop! You'll damage the book. Hmm. All right. You don't want to help me. Then I'll make you help. A tickling spell would change your mind. <laughs> Yay! You came to save me. Why are you here? You made me waste a tickling spell on a perfectly good brew. Why do you need that book? <laughs> oh, you're laughing at me? Very well. Now it's my turn. <laughs> Good job. After all, we're laughing. <laughs> 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 
Victoria. Thank you. What for? Because you came to my rescue. Thanks. Oh, it was nothing. Hang on. Wouldn't you rescue me? Of course I would. <laughs> hey! What sort of crazy spells were in that spooky book anyway? Actually, it's a joke book. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't help you. We didn't believe you. You had to face Baba Yaga alone. Oh, this lesson wasn't as fun as I thought. Could someone please switch us back? Hmm. Yes, of course. To reverse the spell, you must first reverse the words, like so. Now you try it. Make two we together. Together, blend we two. Oh. <laughs> Rooney, Daria, you've both mastered the spell at a very high level. As a reward for your teamwork, you both get an A. Wait, it didn't work. Just look at me. I'm still Rooney. <gasps> <laughs> look at your faces. Rooney, we've had enough of your jokes. <laughs> Time out for Daria. <laughs> I'm getting the hang of this. Does the green one suit me? You should stick to softer colors. Light blue, cream. They're very stylish and will look better on you. Please be quiet. It's impossible to concentrate. Oh, do you expect us to whisper now? Give me a break, Daria. You asked, so we're all trying to be quiet. Hey, girls. I had such a funny dream. <laughs> Please stop it, if you don't mind. Oh no! What happened? Did I do this? <gasps> this must mean that I really do have powers. Hooray! Oh, okay, okay. Unfreeze. <gasps> Wake up now. Come back to life. Now move. What should I do? Oh, I've got to get help! <laughs> Hi, Marlene! Daria, why are you running? To find help! Ah, oh, Marlene! Thank goodness you're back already! Daria, what is it? You seem worried. Are you all right? Oh, yes, you see. It's all because I've discovered a new power! You have? That's wonderful! Show me! Not yet. It's not that simple. The girls were making so much noise. Going back and forth, back and forth. So I told them to stop it. And they froze. Now I can't fix it. I don't know how. Wait a second. I didn't understand that. Back and forth where? Look. I would have made them more comfortable if I had known. How can we undo it? If you've the power to make it happen, you've the power to reverse it. Come with me. There's something I want to tell you. But we can't just leave them. The girls are going to be just fine. But you need to calm yourself down. Just hold on a little longer. I'll be back soon. Professor, don't you find it a bit strange that it's so quiet? Hmm. The girls are studying. No need to worry. Although, I do agree. It is a little odd. Oh? It seems you were spot on, Mr. Immortal. <laughs> I know, they're playing a joke on us. It's not a joke, Professor. And I don't see Daria. Where is she? Daria? Hmm. Daria may be in danger. We need to fight her immediately. Of course, sir. But shouldn't we free the girls first? We cannot interfere with magic whose nature we do not yet understand. Come with me, Professor. Sorry, girls. Be back soon. You're an excellent student and you work hard. But the magic you were born with hasn't revealed itself yet. And therefore, you're worried. Is it that obvious? It's all right. We all go through it. This might turn out to be a stroke of luck. Some unexpected stress has activated your power. So stress activates my power? But does that mean I can only use magic when I'm stressed? No. Stress just helped activate your magic. Now it's up to you to learn how best to control it. Mr. Immortal, I think I know who's behind this. Hmm. Do you think so? It's Baba Yaga. She froze the girls, and she stole Daria. Come on. And? 
like you, I studied at a school of magic. And just like you, I didn't know what my magic was. Then, one day on a walk, I ran into a number of snakes. Oh, I'm afraid of snakes. Me too. I was terrified. And because of that, I shot up into the air. And that's how I learned I could fly. <coughs> Wait, Mr. Immortal, look, over there. Why, that's only Marlene. What's the concern? It's Baba Yaga disguised as Marlene. Our Marlene is on vacation. But how did you manage to get down? At first, I couldn't. I hovered about for a long time, but I calmed myself down, relaxed, and it worked. That is the secret. Hurry! Ah, you. Ah. I've got you! Professor, what is wrong with you? You won't get away! Ah. Daria, are you all right? I don't understand what's gotten into the professor. Pretending ah. to be ah. one of our best! Teach us! Ah. Professor, I'll cut off her escape. Ah. What are you doing? Stop! Seriously? It activated again? Marlene said I needed to calm down. Activate! No, that's silly. <sighs> All right, stop! Really? It's so easy. That's all I had to do? Daria, you did it! Thank you, Marlene. I have to get to the girls. Uh, sorry, Professor, but you said Marlene was on vacation, yes? Yes, Marlene. Why are you here? I was missing the school so much, I decided to come back early. Our apologies, Marlene. We thought you were Baba Yaga. Why? Do I look like Baba Yaga? No, not at all. <laughs> oh, I'm back. All right, stop. <laughs> Girls, do you know what happened to you? We know everything. You froze us solid, or rather, immobilized us. Made us living statues, turned us to stone. <laughs> <laughs> I was worried you'd be mad. Of course not. We're proud of you. You're so cool. Marlene's the cool one. She can fly up the banister. Who? Who even knew? Daria. Um... Come on, don't be shy. Show us how you do it. Do you really want to see it? All right. But let's keep it our little secret. Daylight robbery. Hmm, that's not bad. This one looks a lot more like the immortal. At least compared to those. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Both of you need a little more practice. But not me. Oh, Rooney! You just ruined my act. At least you have an act. I can't think of a single thing to do. You could make the immortal snore. Well, awake. Or put Professor Cat to sleep. <sighs> but that's not very impressive. It's all right, Dorma. It doesn't have to be impressive. Tonight's performance is about entertaining the teachers. I'll go to the library. Maybe I'll be able to find a spell there. <laughs> Come back! Get down! Where are you going? <clears throat> Mr. Mortal, do you need some help? No, I'm just organizing my spell books. But they keep flying. Now come back! Get back here! This looks like the Immortal's personal spell book. This spell brings darkness in the middle of the day. Oh, impressive. Welcome, darkness. Farewell, light. Welcome, darkness. Farewell, light. Snuff out the sun, bring in the night. There you are! What time is it? Did I already miss the performance? Dorma, it's daytime! I don't understand it. The sun was just blown out. Like a candle. <gasps> it's all my fault. I was trying a spell from your magic book. I'm sorry, Mr. Immortal. And then I fell asleep and cast it in my dream. Dorma, what was the spell for? For temporary darkness. In the middle of the day. <gasps> what have you done? By casting the spell in your sleep, your magic was much stronger. Instead of a brief darkness, you've made... 
Eternal night. <gasps> Eternal? As in forever? Oh. How can we fix this, sir? Is there anything we can do? We can, but we must act swiftly. We have to reverse the spell before the actual nightfall occurs. Otherwise, it'll be night forever. We have less than an hour. We must find the correct spell. Then we will all need to combine our magic and cast the spell together. We must unite our powers to bring back the day. Hmm. If it's going to take all our magic to undo this, then what we need is... Baba Yaga! Hurry! The spell to undo eternal night is in... a red book. Hmm. Or maybe it's brown. Begin searching! Do you think Baba Yaga will help us? Uh-uh. I doubt she'd help us willingly. She's not like that. And forcing her isn't a good idea either. Should you? Oh, I'm right here. Good job. You made it night in the middle of the day. <laughs> Congratulations. I couldn't do that myself. We came to ask for help. The Immortal says we need all our powers cast together in order to reverse the spell, or it will be night forever. Forever, you say? That's bad. So bad, you won't have any herbs for your spells. They won't grow without sun. And your hut will hibernate. She can sleep when it's dark. Hmm. We need to cast a spell before actual nightfall comes. Hurry! <laughs> what are you doing? But I like this darkness. It works well for me. It makes it easier to get away with doing naughty things. <laughs> See you later. Hey, get off! <laughs> Good try, princess, but not good enough. Oh, no! We're free now. Oh, that means something bad must have happened to Baba Yaga. Baba Yaga, are you all right? Uh, so hard to see trees in the dark. Perhaps then you've changed your mind. <laughs> Sir, I'm afraid that we are almost out of time. I see that, but where are the princesses? Baba Yaga, why have you come? Oh, I had to come. Just look what those girls have done to a poor old lady. So, where's the spell? Sentimental. Stop. I've had quite enough. I'm sorry I caused all this. The performance was supposed to be fun, but I took it too seriously. Yes, way too seriously. <laughs> it's not always about being the best. The thing to remember is sometimes it's just the joy of magic. Couldn't you wait till after our acts to do yours? It is entertaining, though. <laughs> <laughs>